way, uh, yeah, I, I, I did want to say something about Hungary's Orban. I'll say more about it in the future, but he did win a decisive victory. I think what he showed in his victory, in spite of the fact that the European Union um, uh, was backing the opposition, in a sense, uh, uh, the, the, the it, polls were showing a tight race, but I think polls that were biased. Um, I think what his victory really shows is that people like authoritarian nationalists. Orban is not quite as big of an authoritarian as, as Putin. There are still elections. As far as I can tell, the elections are, quote, fair in, in uh, Hungary. It is a member of the EU and a member of NATO. But uh, the entire media apparatus in Hungary is controlled by Orban. He, he has basically taken over the media explicitly. Uh, the, the economy is a, is a crony economy. Uh, where all the, just like the oligarchs, where all the, the, the juicy positions are all held by friends of Orban. He is a uh, populist, Viktor Orban is a populist, religionist, I don't know that he's really religious, but he uses it, uh, a, a populist, authoritarian, you know, little thug. He's not quite Putin. He's like a miniature. He doesn't have the apparatus that Putin has to inflict pain. Um, on people he doesn't like. Not a good guy. Not a good guy, doesn't hold good ideas, doesn't understand what Western civilization is, doesn't know how to protect it, how to defend it. Somebody who's taken over the media, doesn't believe in free speech, doesn't really believe in freedom, does not made Hungary a free market at all, is basically... Uh, used his platform, used the fact that he's part of the EU to receive enormous subsidies to help the Hungarian economy come out of poverty. But it's far, far, far away, far, far, far from uh, believing in free markets or believing in freedom in any dimension. He's completely and utterly corrupt. And yet, the Hungarian people love him. So there's no question he's popular. There's no question he won this election democratically. There's no question that the Hungarians support him. And as such, it is suggestive, it is suggestive that there are elements in Europe, I think in the US, because Orban is a favorite of the, US, of the US right, he's a favorite of people like Tucker Carlson and the intellectuals of the new right, that is longs for the muscle, longs for authoritarianism. But he has a majority, a significant majority of Hungarians supporting him. These ideas are popular, can be popular, can be dominant. It's not the case that they are minority views everywhere. And the thing that unites the people who vote for it is hatred of the left, and what they get instead is authoritarianism of the right. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.